drop test for chloride featuring Taylor's K1549. Who should use this kit? Chlorides are salts that are formed when the gas chlorine is combined with a metal. They are used extensively in the production of industrial chemicals, fertilizers, and in the salts used to treat roads. Some examples of chloride salts are potassium chloride, calcium chloride, ammonium chloride, and sodium chloride, table salt. Chlorides can enter surface water in many ways. Wastewater from industries, agricultural runoff, and road salting, to name just a few. Testing for chlorides is primarily used to control blowdown in boilers and bleed-off in cooling systems. Determining levels of this chemical is also helpful in characterizing boiler feed water and detecting leaks in boiler condensate systems. Chloride is prevalent in seawater, which many industries use to fulfill their cooling water needs. All cooling waters have a recommended maximum chloride level. Too high a level can corrode metal pipes and equipment, resulting in shutdowns for repairs and replacement of costly equipment. Taylor's K1549, which we are demonstrating in this video, is a simple drop test that employs the argentometric method to quickly and accurately determine chloride levels. The mercuric nitrate method, featuring our K1598, is demonstrated in a separate video on our website. Orthophosphate at concentrations greater than 25 ppm will precipitate a silver phosphate to cause positive interference. To prevent, dilute samples containing more than 25 ppm orthophosphate with DI water. Bromide, iodide, and cyanide at all levels titrate as equivalent chloride concentrations. Sulfide, thiosulfate, and sulfite interfere but can be removed by treatment with hydrogen peroxide, which will be discussed later in this video. Before beginning this or any other Taylor test, it is best to read the instructions through to the end. Familiarizing yourself with all the steps to come is particularly important if the test is new to you or if the kit is newly purchased, as sometimes our procedures change. For this demonstration, we will be using a 25 ml sample with a drop equivalency of 10 ppm. Taylor's K1549 also allows options and drop equivalencies appropriate for other sample sizes. Note, for drop equivalencies of 50, 100, or 500 ppm, dilute to the 10 ml mark with DI water before beginning the test. Rinse and fill the 25 ml sample tube to the 25 ml mark with the water to be tested. Taylor Sample Sizer, shown here, is a great tool for getting accurate measurements every time. Note, for results in grains per gallon, fill the sample tube to the 14.6 ml mark. Add two drops of phenolphthalein indicator. Remember to always hold the bottle vertically to assure that the proper amount of reagent is dispensed. Swirl to mix. For this demonstration, we are using Taylor's Speedster, which is sold separately, but you can also manually swirl the sample. If the sample is pink, add sulfuric acid 0.6N dropwise, swirling after each drop until the sample goes from pink to colorless. If no pink color appears, proceed to the next step. Note, if sulfite levels are thought to be over 10 parts per million, the sulfite must be oxidized to prevent any interference. Adding 1 ml or 25 drops of hydrogen peroxide solution 3%, which is sold separately, and then mixing it thoroughly will oxidize the sulfite. Add 5 drops of chromate indicator, swirling to mix. The sample will turn yellow. Add silver nitrate reagent dropwise, 
swirling and counting after each drop until the color changes from yellow to a milky salmon or brick red. Note, do not add so much silver nitrate reagent that the sample turns brown. It is important that the color change goes from yellow to a milky salmon or brick red, which signals the endpoint. Multiply the number of drops of silver nitrate reagent expended by 10 and record your result as parts per million chloride. If using a 14.6 ml sample, record the result as grains per gallon chloride. Note, to record your results as sodium chloride, multiply the chloride concentration in the previous step by 1.65. Taylor manufactures several other test kits for chloride that employ the argentometric method, K-1506, K-1543, K-1549S, and K-1767. Taylor's knowledgeable customer service representatives are available to provide technical assistance about our products. Call 800-TEST-KIT 